<laughs> Here, just roll, just roll. All right, so we're going, I want to make sure I get this right. We're going to, someone just recently corrected me. The IAF, excuse me, IAAF world, or worlds, which is governed by the US ATF, but it's the international, I have no idea. We're going to a big track meet in Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, I've never really been to a major or like international running event. We're gonna meet some amazing athletes. I think I'm gonna participate in events. Hopefully, maybe get a brand sponsorship. Who knows? Either way, it's my first time to Eugene, Oregon. Very excited. Um, should be fun. All right, I've traveled a lot, I've stayed at a lot of hotels, but I gotta give a shout out to the Gordon Hotel in Eugene, Oregon, because never have I ever seen on every floor a freezer with pre-made bags of ice. No annoying loud ice machine that's gurgling and buzzing all night long in the hallway, people slamming it with, no, just nice, perfect sized bags. I mean, it's not super environmentally friendly, we could do better, but, very clever. We've got about an hour before my first interview podcast, so I'm just gonna walk around. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but Eugene seems charming and kind of hungry. This is, to some extent, the man who sort of started it all. This is Steve Prefontaine. I think he grew up in Oregon and became a passionate long distance runner before long distance running was really a thing and ended up essentially bringing a ton of energy and enthusiasm and publicity to long distance running. Ended up setting world records in, I think, every event from like the 2,000 to 10,000 meter run and like competed in the 72 Olympics and then sadly died at, at like age 25 in a car accident. But the guy was a legend even in his short life and uh, many people like myself credit him for much of why they are into running. So thank you Steve and uh, I hope you're up there still running. Okay, we made it. We're at Hayward Field at the University of Oregon, and uh, we just got through security, and I can feel, like literally feel, the energy coming from the stadium right now. It's 15,000 seat arena, exclusively for track and field. It's like the, one of the only places in the world that was built just for track and field. So let's just get in there. Maybe. All right, we just got into the stadium and it's incredible. I mean, it's pretty packed, the weather is perfect, and we're right here on the track. Giant screen, tons of fans. You could not ask for a more exciting, inspiring scenario so and setting. It's just amazing. Representation for USA.
women's final 100 meter, the men's final 100 meter hurdles. It was amazing. Some, some incredible races. Overall, just an incredible day. So exciting. And uh, now I'm off to run in my own race, which is Take the Bridge 10K or something like that. So not really sure what it's gonna be, but it's supposed to be awesome. And I uh, gotta get ready. So. Thank you. 